How long will it take you to replace a paycheck with side hustle income? For me, it took many years of failed attempts and grinding to find something that finally worked. But before you click back on this video, I actually believe you can accomplish this goal in much less time than it took me. So let's take a look at how long it's gonna take for your side business to replace your salary. Hi, this is Brett from Six Figure Side Income, where I talk about what it's like to build a six-figure business while you still have a full-time job. By the way, I am fully employed at this time, and my side business did over $150,000 last year. I don't share this to brag at all, this is just to provide context on where I'm at right now. As background for you, my side business is a business blog called foodtruckempire.com, and through this blog, I'm part of a private Facebook group where a few hundred bloggers shared how long it took for them to replace their full-time job income through blogging. And the responses to the survey were pretty enlightening to say the least because they lined up almost perfectly with my own journey. Based on the feedback in this group, most people were able to replace their full-time income in three to four years of consistent blogging. The interesting thing about these survey results is my own journey, again, was nearly identical. It wasn't until my third full year of blogging on my website, foodtruckempire.com, that I earned more than $30,000 in gross revenue in a single year. It was surprising how many other people had this exact same timeline as me. Freaky almost. Now here's the thing for me, my first entry level job out of college only paid $32,000 per year with almost zero benefits. This is a job I frequently came in early and stayed late to keep up with the workload too and even worked some weekends. So hitting $30,000 from a side business that I didn't even do 40 hours a week was pretty cool. Of course, some people's paychecks are gonna be harder to replace than others. After all, replacing the hourly wage of a cashier at Walmart is gonna be easier than replacing a doctor's income most of the time. To put things into context, most bloggers in this group were able to replace a salary between $30,000 and $50,000 per year over this time period. How does this number stack up against the average paycheck? Well, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, in 2020, the median personal income in the United States was $35,805 per year. So according to this data point anyways, three to four years of steady work hustling at your own side business can indeed replace the average American salary. Now I get it, if you're already making $150,000 per year as a software developer, quitting your job to make $30,000 to $50,000 might not sound very appealing. Even so, keep in mind with a side business, you're building something that you actually own outright, unlike your job that can be taken away at literally any time. In short, you can't get laid off from your own company unless you decide to fire yourself. Of course, there are a few different variables at play when figuring out how long it will take you to be able to quit your job. Here are some of the major factors. The first is how much time are you gonna be able to put into your side hustle the first couple of years? Obviously, the more effort you put in, typically the faster the results that you get in return. Two. Do you have an idea that fills a real need in the marketplace? If you create something that isn't gonna sell or that nobody wants, you're not gonna make much. Three, will you get lucky and sign a couple long-term clients early on or land big sales that help you grow fast? Four, do you have any previous business connections in place that allow you to grow much faster? And five, do you have a lot of student loan debt, car payments, things like that hanging around that you'd like to pay off? That's gonna have a factor too in whether or not you're gonna be able to quit your job. Personally, I used my blog income to fast track my student loan payoffs a few years back and it really helped me pay off my debt at least a half a decade faster than I would have otherwise. While my side business experience comes from blogging, I've observed that all kinds of side hustles seem to take three to four years of consistent effort to get going. For whatever reason, the three, four year time period seems to be the time frame that it takes to get a business off the ground. And this seems to be no matter what industry, home service businesses, software company, launching businesses just takes time to figure out and build momentum with, especially if you've got a full-time job. There's a well-known proverb in entrepreneurial circles 
called the 1000 day rule. I first heard of this concept on the Tropical MBA podcast that backs this up. In short, this principle states that it often takes 1000 days or about three years to figure out if a business idea is gonna work out or not. I'll include a link to this concept in the video description below. So, do you still think that starting a side hustle business is worth it, even if it takes three to four years to replace your income? You bet I do. In fact, I think this is the biggest financial opportunity you can take advantage of if you don't have any resources right now or money. Here's why I advocate so hard for starting a side business while you're still employed. First off, imagine making an extra $2,000 starting this month on top of your regular paycheck. Does this sound appealing to you at all? Can you think of any way an extra two grand deposited into your bank account every month could help you? That's a rhetorical question, of course. We could all find a way to utilize extra money. Personally, I'm always surprised when people poo-poo a side business making only $1,000 to $2,000 per month. Because here's the thing, if you already have a job, do you think you'll get a raise or a job promotion that pays you another $2,000 per month or $24,000 total over the course of a year. I've literally never had a raise like that in my 15 year career in corporate America. And guess what? I bet you haven't either. And that's the important thing to remember. As your side business starts building momentum, recognize that you'll be making this extra cash on top of your regular paycheck as long as you keep going to your job. This extra cash can be used to reinvest back into the business, pay off debt, or frankly, whatever you think you should be able to do with it. It's also weird because we're all accustomed to telling our families or significant others anytime we get the slightest raise or promotion at work. But when we start making significant money from a side business, people write it off as some little hobby for some reason. Why does it work like this? I don't want you to make the mistake of thinking that a side business must fully replace your income before it's quote unquote worth it. Adding an extra grand or two a month is money that your coworkers would literally be falling and stumbling over themselves to get their hands on if it happened to be added to their regular paycheck by way of promotion or just a raise. I encourage you to celebrate all your small business victories along the way and I think you're gonna have a lot more fun doing it this way too. One final thing I do wanna make is clear, $2,000 a month isn't the end goal of a side business by any stretch. Obviously, you wanna continue growing that revenue over the coming months and years. Next, I wanna to talk to you about another advantage of starting a side business aside from just making more money. When you start a business, you're essentially building an asset for yourself. Take, for example, my situation. After close to more than 15 years in corporate America, my 401k is now valued at almost $100,000. Not quite there yet, but I should be soon if market trends persist. This retirement account provides some savings and a buffer in case of an emergency. The money I put into this account is also tax deferred, reducing my annual tax burden, which is helpful. But on the flip side, I've been saving for almost 15 years in an almost perfect stock market bull run to get here. If my 401k continues doing the same thing for the next 25 years straight, which would be awesome, <laughs> I'll have a nice nest egg at retirement. But there's no way I could fund an enjoyable retirement with it. Plus the number in this account is all pre-tax, meaning that you might as well subtract 25% at least from the account before I'm ever able to get my hands on it when I start withdrawing it. On the other hand, let's take a look at my side business. At this point, I could sell one of my blogs for $400,000 or more if I really wanted to. This is the same blog that also generates more than $10,000 in cash flow for me every single month. Based on my past 401k performance, I wouldn't expect the pre-tax value of my 401k to ever hit $400,000 in value even if I worked another 20 years straight without ever getting laid off, which frankly is kind of depressing. As you work on your side business, remember you're building a business asset, even if it's small right now. Whether you start a cleaning business, repair shop, photography business, software company, consulting, whatever. All businesses have value and can be sold in the future if they make money and have some simple processes in place. If you're starting a new business right now, expect the first year or two 
will be a little slow. I made less than $15,000 total in my first two years on my side business before any expenses were taken out. But if you stay consistent, keep exploring ways to grow, this can turn into something pretty amazing after a few years. So weigh in and let me know what you think in the comments section. Does three or four years to replace your job income seem unreasonable? Or do you think this is just a total waste of your time? Do you think you could even find the time to start a business on the side while you're still employed? Let me know, I really wanna know what you think. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot, especially in these early days of the YouTube channel. You can also sign up for my mailing list at sixfiguresideincome.com so we can stay in touch. Until next time, keep grinding.